Hello Capricorn, welcome back. This is your general love reading for Gemini season, so it will not be for every Capricorn watching, but if it is your story, I hope you comment below. If not, you can always check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. Just remember to take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind, as time, energy, and gender are fluid. So reverse roles however they apply to your story, and most of all, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification notification bell so you can catch future readings. So to my lovely Capricorn subscribers, thank you so much for all of your love and continued support of the channel. You guys are my favorites, you already know. Um, so thanks for your donations and also those of you who have purchased private readings. It really means a lot to me, you guys. So if you're a new subscriber, be sure to drop down the description box below to get all of the dates. All of the ways that you will need to connect with me are down there, including social media links, um, website, payment app, and information for those of you who would like to purchase private readings and my members only area link for those of you who enjoy your readings a little spicy. So Capricorn, as I mentioned, we are still in Gemini season and Gemini is ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication. So in this reading, we'll be looking into your person of interest and finding out what are they thinking and also what they would like to say to you. So if you are feeling like this reading is resonating resonating more for what's going on in your own mind, then that is totally okay. Just take what applies and let the rest fly. Do not force the reading to fit, okay? So let's start off with the Heavenly Bodies Oracle and see what it is that Spirit wants us to know about the overall energy of this connection. What is the overall message here that we need to see in regards to Capricorn and their person? Let's see what we have here for the sign of Capricorn, please. Oh my gosh, if it isn't Saturn coming up in the reverse again. So if you've been following the Zodiac readings, Capricorn, Saturn has popped up in the reverse multiple times. Um, I think a total of five now with this reading, but obviously we're in Saturn retrograde, so we will talk about that. But let's see what else we have. Any other cards we need for the sign of Capricorn, please? Okay, interesting. So let's talk Saturn retrograde. Obviously, Saturn is the Lord of Kar Karma, Father Time, and all of that stuff. So if anyone who has been doing the work, right, anyone's been doing the spiritual work, you guys are probably going to experience some really positive karma from now until October. Now, for those people out there who have not been doing the spiritual work, who have not been um, showing up authentically, who have been repeating karmic cycles over and over, again and refusing to learn the lessons, carpet sweepers who are just avoiding scenarios and shirking responsibilities, then Saturn is literally going to drag your ass, okay? So Saturn represents feeling restricted, experiencing struggles, learning hard work, and patience. Now, this card popped up in the reverse for you, Capricorn. So just like the other readings, I'm taking this as a positive omen that those of you who have been doing the spiritual work are on the right path, okay? Um, now, for your person, I'm pretty sure that they're also starting to get on the same page as well, right? Uh, we're no longer feeling restricted or trapped within our um, own struggles, right? We're starting to expand and learn from these things and use this as a way to uh, begin a stable foundation. So I think that overall, Capricorn, you and your person have collectively learned some very valuable lessons within this connection, and they're at the forefront right now. So next up we have yin, which is the feminine energy of intuition, trust, patience, spirituality, and receptivity. So we're talking about the energy of the moon, the energy of the high priestess, uh, signs including Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, um, Capricorn, and Pisces, all feminine zodiac signs. So obviously you could be connecting with any one of these signs that really doesn't matter, but um, what I see here is an openness, a willingness to trust oneself, and also kind of a pairing up of divine masculine and feminine energy. We have the sun and the moon on this card. 
But again, we're talking about trust and patience, spirituality, receptivity. Maybe this person hasn't always been so open in the past. Maybe they haven't been the type that has um, believed in the woo-woo, okay? Maybe they haven't always listened to their gut instincts in the past, which has caused them to repeat said cycles. Maybe that's what spirit has been trying to get them to see all along, to trust their inner feminine wisdom. Now we also have the energy of Aries, which is why I said a good combination of feminine and masculine energy. So Aries is quite literally the emperor in the tarot, representing um, Mars, action, war, sex. And the key words here are independence, bravery, and passion. So combining these two elements, um, it's kind of funny because I feel like this theme has popped up quite a bit in these readings as well. A good, healthy balance of feminine and masculine energy. Someone who is capable of being brave and taking action in their life from the viewpoint of feminine nature. Okay, Not just taking action willy-nilly, but taking action on what they know to be true from within and trusting themselves. So again, that is a very brave and bold feat especially if you're dealing with someone who errs more to the uh, logical or the practical, okay? So again, Saturn has kind of come in to remind this person that you have done the work. You have become more open and receptive. You are trusting yourself and you are capable of taking action and creating something new. Um, not only is the feminine energy of intuition and spirituality, but it's also of creativity, creation. So let's see what else we have from this deck. I want a couple of more here for you guys. I think I just called the moon out of the deck. So satisfying emotional needs, nurturing self and others. So the moon, Cancerian energy, Piscean energy, intuition, all that stuff we just mentioned. The moon also signifies the uh, under the surface, okay? What's not being seen, the hidden, the mystery. So obviously the moon could be an expression of those deeper feelings that they have been hiding, Capricorn, okay? If this person has been hiding how they feel for you, or if they've been, um, again, like, just like hiding in general, um, just kind of being a surface level connection, then this person has a lot more going on behind the scenes than you may realize. Their emotions for you seem to be pretty deep. So bottom of the deck, we now have mutable energy, which is Gemini, um, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. So surrendering, fluidi fluidity, dang, I can't even talk. Fluidity and welcoming change, right? So change, we're talking about creating something new. I think this person could be starting to go with the flow a little bit more. Surrendering to the universe, recognizing that their role doesn't need to be one of resistance, all right? And underneath that, we have Sagittarius. So clearly, we just had this Sagittarius full moon, um, a very intense. Um, typically, full moons are marking like an ending or releasing of things but this this full moon felt more like a new beginning something very exciting and um something to look forward to right we're about to embark on the summer months um again those of us who are doing the spiritual work are experiencing some great rounds of karma lots of fun things planned um possibly even traveling and things of that nature we know that sagittarius is the explorer um the pioneer and the spiritualist right so the keywords here are optimism, exploration, and freedom. So there's been some sort of setting free of this person, I think. And, and maybe they've set themselves free finally. They're starting to be more optimistic and they're wanting to explore their options. So um, again, maybe this person has been shackled by their karma in the past. Maybe they've had a lot to deal with, a lot of mountains to climb, a lot of obstacles to get through, but now they're using their feminine and energy as their number one tool, okay? They're using that to um, forge their new path, okay? So very strong energy coming from this person. And look at that south node right under that, which is about what is destined to be released. So 
overall this person's destiny was to release something someone some sort of concept mentality whatever it is specifically for you that was a part of their destiny they had to learn how to let go and that's where we have this mutable vibe coming in okay going with the flow and surrendering to the universe so very interesting. Let's go ahead and move into the tarot and see what exactly is going on with this person and what they are thinking about. This could be what they're thinking about you, thinking about their connection. Um, so let's find out. The Empress. So uh, Capricorn, this could be what they're thinking of you, right? Someone very strong, nurturing, receptive, going back to the energy of yin, okay? Creation, abundance, integrity. Um, and so ultimately Capricorn, if they are thinking about you in this energy, you could very well be the light that is guiding them to let go of certain things that they've been holding on to. Okay. This is the inspiration that they've been looking for you. All right, so coming right in with divine feminine energy, um, channeling you and taking a page out of your book in order to allow themselves to create something new. What else? What else is this person thinking about? The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So if you have been connecting with someone who is just taking their sweet old time, um, focusing on themselves, withholding some sort of uh, commitment or, or loyalty to you, this person is wanting to change things around. It's almost like they know that they have taken a long time, right? They know that it's been just way, way long, and now they're starting to feel this burst of... <sighs> What's the word I'm looking for? It's like a burst of encouragement from the universe. This person has had a fire lit under their ass and now they're starting to move things forward more quickly, all right? But not just for the sake of this connection, but for the sake of themselves. They wanna do right by themselves. They wanna take action, but again, they wanna do so from a point of, of integrity, intelligence, and they don't wanna mess things up. That's kind of the theme of the Knight of Pentacles. They move slowly and cautiously because they don't wanna screw it up. They're Afraid of failure and so now this person is less concerned about whether they're gonna fail or not um, than whether they're gonna actually lose you right they don't want to lose you because they're taking too long and it kind of just gets to that point where you have to just drop your inhibitions and go for it and I think that's kind of the vibe here at least they're thinking about it okay it's like how could they possibly take so long um, to make an offer to the Empress now we have the three of wands, which is all about the future. This person has been very patient. They've been manifesting this behind the scenes. They've been looking into their crystal ball and imagining their long journey through the mountains, but they know that that's what's required to get to the other side. If they're gonna be worthy of the Empress, if they're gonna have the life that they've always wanted and that they've been manifesting, they're gonna need to do what they need to do, okay? They're gonna need to get through those obstacles. This person is starting to see glimmers of hope from all the hard work that they've done, and they realize now that they have no one left to think except you, okay? You're the one that showed them this path. And even though it might have looked really difficult to begin with, they see now how necessary it was to open them up to something new, something they could be proud of, something they could hold on to, okay? So what else do we need to see here? Yeah, so now we're moving into, oh my goodness, we have the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Why do I feel like there's something in my eye all of a sudden? You know, this could be very um, symbolic as well. This person may not have been able to see very clearly before, but now they are they are crystal clear. This person has clarity. They know the truth. And this could also be them coming forward to communicate that truth with you. This is what's on their mind. They know they need to stand up and be honest and authentic about their feelings, about what they're thinking, about what they want to say. And the King of Swords doesn't just say things to appease, right? They're 
they're the king. They don't need to appease anyone. They're in charge. The king is capable of cutting away anything that doesn't serve them because they always have their best interest in their mind, okay? So a very clear, concise, and effective energy coming from this person. Um, they could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, especially with these two cards coming out together. Um, the Sword of Truth followed by all of these butterflies. So again, maybe that's exactly what the transformation for this person entailed. Them needing to set themselves free and transform themselves and, and finally be able to show up authentically. Okay. What else do we have here for this person, Capricorn? What do we need to see? What's going on in their mind? The eight of wands. Yeah. They're eager. Okay. This is that Sagittarius energy. They're eager to move this forward. This is, um, fast paced communication and passion, right? We have all of these unicorns running down the mountain. It reminds me of the movie, the last unicorn and, um, seeing them all like rising out of the foam in the ocean where they've been trapped. Like, this is a movement, okay? This is a movement. Your person is starting a movement. They're realizing that all they want to do is communicate with you. This was love at first sight. This was instant connection, okay? Cupid shooting them in the butt cheeks with the arrow, right? That's what this is. They know that the minute they saw you, the minute they connected with you, that things were going to start moving very quickly. And that's what they want now. Okay. So expect this person to be messaging you, contacting you, whether or not they physically reach out, everyone's situation is going to be different, but this could also be an up uptick or an, a ramping up of an energy in the 5D where you feel this person's sexual sensual energy calling out to you, um, having visions, having more dreams about this person. It's going to start ramping up, okay, because that is what's on their mind. And if you are on their mind, we know that your thoughts become things. They're trying to manifest you into their life, Capricorn, and that's why we have this Three of Wands. Now, we also have the Eight of Cups. So again, one of their biggest lessons of transformation was being able to let go and release, okay? So whether or not this person was with um, a romantic partner, whether this is about a career move, um, family, friends, whatever, this person is turning their back on anything or anyone that's not aligned with their true purpose, Okay, this person wants union. They don't want a bunch of random offers. They don't want to have to put up with other energies that are not truly in line with their passions. Um, people who are sucking their energy from them and not giving anything back. The Eight of Cups is like a really um, unfulfilled sort of an energy. Okay, This person needed to walk away from anything that was unfulfilling. And even in this card, we have the moon that's being shrouded by these branches. And ultimately, this could be very symbolic for the fact that this person tried to hide how they felt about you while they were maybe dealing with other things in their life, going through their karma, dealing with daddy Saturn, okay? So they know that if they haven't already walked away, they know that it's time. These two eights together signify karmic cycles. If if this person wants this forward movement and action and love and lust and, and chemistry passion with you then they're gonna need to to make a trade okay they can't have this and also still hold on to a bunch of broken cups it's not possible all right this person knows it's time to get out of their ego and quit holding on to things that in the end really aren't doing anything to benefit them all right so one more shuffle let's see if there's anything else for you guys yeah, same thing. Ten of Wands. Big old burden this person needs to put down. They're fully aware that this cycle is coming to an end. You know, Ten of Wands is like the living for others vibe. Doing everything everyone else wants you to do. Living by the traditions and the rules of the family and all these other things. Like, even though this person willingly and voluntarily signed up for this, they know that it's not their burden to carry anymore. Okay? They're not going to take these burdens to their grave. They're setting themselves free. And I think that this has been a huge relief for this person, being able to finally walk away from these cycles and close out that karma for good. 
all right? Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. So again, this person is very deep with emotion for you. With the moon coming out at the beginning of the reading, clearly they love you, they care about you very deeply. This is an emotionally intelligent individual who doesn't just fling their cup around town, okay? This is someone who protects their heart, someone who isn't gonna just let anybody in. This is someone who has secret audition processes in their mind before they even let anyone get close to them, okay? So King of Cups is, you know, maybe them acknowledging too where they have withheld their love from you, Capricorn. This person could have also been in kind of an overindulgent sort of an energy. Maybe they were hit in the bottle too often or or whatever their poison of choice is, this person was drowning themselves to forget their feelings, okay? They're acknowledging that now. They're becoming aware of that toxicity and how they have basically let you to believe that they are in love with you, but maybe have withheld that love. So un underneath that, we have the world, which I think is very promising as well. This person is completing their life lessons. Um, this could also be uh, world travel and communication. But ultimately, I feel like there's been some closure in this person's life, something that brought them some peace um, and also just help them to realize what it's all about. Maybe they're starting to see the hidden lessons in these karmic cycles. And that's exactly why we have this blossoming of the feminine energy happening within their mind. Because they know that they got where they are by following in your footsteps, Capricorn. They know that they are where they are today because of your light, your energy, your intuition. And now they're finally starting to listen to it. And look at that. Cycles are completing because of that. Okay? So, very interesting. Let's go ahead and move into advice from Spirit. And see what Spirit has to say for you Capricorns out there. What is the overall advice here? Wow, we got a lot going on. So we're starting out with advancement. A strong energy is propelling you forward. Follow the stirrings of your heart. So things are starting to move forward, right? Advancement, it's the same thing as forward motion, this eight of wands energy, it's inevitable. We have release. Release anything that keeps you from your path of authenticity. So we're talking about this person following in your footsteps. If this person's main goal was to be able to release, surrender, let go, then um, you also need to make sure you're doing the same thing, Capricorn. If there's anything that you're still holding on to in your life that you know is toxic, that you know you need to release, um, then it's time for you to take those steps and set that example, okay? We also have choice. By staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. So this reminds me of the fact that everyone has free will, right? Destiny is definitely a major player, but everyone has their choices to make, right? Everyone has their journey to take. So by being conscious in your thoughts, you are creating your reality. You are guiding your own journey. So be wary of the thoughts that you allow to um, swim around in that noggin of yours. We also have meditation. So maybe this is a sign that you need to spend more time in solitude, um, spend more time resting, okay? Don't actually have to meditate, but just getting proper rest, getting time for yourself, okay? But the key words here are take a moment to connect to source through quiet, reflective meditation, okay? Connect to the source. Intuition. Trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to answers that you seek. So stay in that energy, okay? Always trust that inner voice. And finally, courage. Live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination. So um, continue to light the way for this person, okay? They need you as their example. And even the ice machine just confirmed it, okay? So what does this person want to say to you? I'm gonna be using the Mercury Edition 8 by The Pretty Psyche. I will link her information down below. She's on Instagram and makeplayingcards.com and I absolutely love her decks. Um, I used to love her YouTube channel before she um, got off YouTube. But if y'all enjoy really great readings, definitely check her out on Instagram. What else do we need to see from this person? What do they want to say to you? 
What does this person want you to know? Deck is like crickets today. Oh, here we go. Do you lurk me? I get anxiety to lurk you. So, you know, this person really wants to keep an eye on you, but I think that they um, might get a little bit nervous to do so, especially with, you know, social media these days. You can see basically who's stalking you, who's watching you. Um, and maybe this person might have a little bit of pride, like they don't want to seem like someone who's, you know, stalking you, lurking you. And they're wondering if you do the same. Do you look at their pictures? Do you look them up? Do you try to see what's going on with them? Um, so this is them like kind of wondering if you guys are on the same page, right? They don't want to encroach on you. They don't want to um, overwhelm you you or make you feel like they're trying to smother you so again maybe this person is trying to give you your space um what else do they have to say let's elope oh my gosh so this person wants to marry you okay they want to like run away with you to vegas and just like do the damn thing we also have, I was in denial of what I needed to see. So maybe you and this person went through a period of where they didn't really, really see you for the empress that you are. Maybe they treated you some type of way or said certain things to you that made you feel like, okay, that's a bold face lie, right? Maybe they said some things to you that kind of knocked you down a peg or two or fucked with your confidence. And this person is saying they were in denial, okay? That's why they said what they said. That's why they did what they did. Um, and now they start to understand that the main point of what they needed to see was that they needed to work on themselves to rise up and be on your level, all right? So what else? I feel like you've moved on from me. So if you've been kind of pulling away from this person, again, this is their insecurity speaking. If they feel like you've been pulling away, um, that could be exactly what's causing them to awaken, right? Maybe you decided to give this person space and the time that they needed to see what they needed to see. And now they're starting to see it, finally, finally. Um, so they're hoping that you're not moving on, okay? What else? What else do we have for our lovely Capricorns? I don't desire sex with anyone but you. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Um, what are you doing this weekend? So definitely trying to make plans. My friend wants me to amend things with you. So there's somebody that this person trusts that they talk to about you and this person told your person that they were being a dummy and that they needed to get their act together, right? Or they were gonna lose you. And who knows, maybe this friend is chirping in their ear like, bro, you're gonna lose them if you don't get it together. If you don't start showing up and you don't start doing the damn thing, this person's gonna move on. And Capricorn, you have every right to move on. If this person didn't see your worth from the beginning, then, then you would have every right to move on. But it is important also to remember Remember that sometimes people need time, okay? Especially when they're steeped in ego, especially when they are the type that likes to be in denial about feelings, okay? And that's exactly what they needed to do was get in touch with their feminine side, their yin, okay? And for a lot of you, I feel like this person is realizing that you are the yin to their yang, okay? Or the yang to their yin, whatever the case may be. So one more shuffle for you guys. I want you back. Yeah, they definitely want you, okay? Uh, I love you so much, I kept it from you. So they thought it was better to lie about their feelings than to be honest, and now they're starting to see that that was not the smart road to take, okay? Um, I don't like anyone giving you attention on your pictures. So if they're looking at you or for you on social media, they're probably the type that gets angry, like if another person likes your, your picture, that makes them wanna like it, makes them wanna talk to you more. More. Um, and isn't that just how some people are, right? It isn't until they lose you or it isn't until they see you slipping away that they get the confidence to say what they need to say. 
So we also have sexually frustrated. So yeah, this person definitely wants to get it on Capricorn. And like we saw, they do not want to get it on with anyone but you. And they're asking you, do I still have a chance with you? So if you have put this person in their place, Capricorn, at one point or another, they're definitely starting to experience a turning of tables, okay? Someone who was in denial vehemently is now starting to see the light okay so this is a really great reading um someone's finally starting to see your worth and that's a beautiful thing so capricorn i hope that this resonated with all of you um if it did please like the video please comment below um if, if you would like to you can purchase a private reading if you want to go even further and of course um i hope to see you guys in the next one i hope you are enjoying the rest of gemini season i love you so much and i will talk to you soon bye